Hi, and welcome to Crash Course Cryptozoology. Before I start off this video, I want to say that I apologize for my absence recently. I've been working on a few side projects that I believe will uh, be fruitful endeavors, and I've also been trying to think of good subjects to talk about in these videos that will contribute to the field going forward. And I do think I found a good deal of those subjects to talk about in more videos. The subject I want to talk about today is the Klesinderok Beast. The Klesinderok Beast being the newest cryptid to be outed and accepted as a real species. Last year in 2017, Scottish farmers around the Klesinderok forest area reported that their livestock were being killed, and the killings were peculiar in the sense that they accompanied stories of large, unknown wild cats being responsible for them. Now, if you know anything about the UK and cryptozoology, you know that there are a lot of stories about what are called alien big cats. Now, what alien big cat really means is species of cats that we know exist, but that are being seen in England, which is a place that big cats are simply not supposed to exist. The Klesinderok beast originally was not an exception to this, nor was it an exception to the regular attitude towards alien big cats, which is usually that the stories are misidentifications of house cats. However, two months ago, on March 28th, 2018, trail camera footage from the Klesinderok forest in Scotland revealed that not only is there a wild cat in the forest, it is the cat responsible, or at least is very likely the cat responsible, for the killings, and it is a previously unknown species of wild cat. Kev Bell, the researcher who set the camera, is quoted as saying, I've been monitoring the wild cats in this area for about two years now, and been fortunate to get footage of quite a few of these ghost cats. There's about 10 to 15 of them here in the Klesinda Rock. I couldn't believe my eyes when I first saw this cat. He is enormous. A magnificent animal. Now, when you think of an enormous cat, you might not really think of a smaller cat like a lot of these may be. But, at about 4 feet in length, the Klesinderok Beast is, in fact, Scotland's largest wild cat. And it being its largest wild cat, it's odd that it went undiscovered for so long, especially with it killing livestock last year. Ultimately, I think, for one thing what's so significant about the Klesinderok Beast discovery is that it gives some credibility to the alien big cat sightings, and it gives credibility to cryptids, I believe, in general. Now, does that mean that all cryptids need credibility? No, but I do think that the scientific and reality-driven side of cryptozoology is often ignored, and the Klesinderok Beast is a miraculous result, a miraculous discovery, rather, in the sense that it came about because Kev Bell decided that there was something to it. He likely decided so based on the evidence for the Klesinderok Beast. Why else would he be looking for big cats in the Klesinderok Forest? So he looked at the science of things, and sometimes the science is insufficient, sometimes it's sufficient, and I think that any form of what appears to be scientific evidence of any kind should be explored, especially within cryptozoology. Had Kev Bell not gone searching for it, chances are the Klesinderok Beast would have gone undiscovered for a much longer time, possibly going extinct before ever being discovered as they do seem to be small in numbers. If you take away anything from what I would call a pretty momentous discovery such as this one, take away that there are still things that we don't know about in the world. And sometimes they can be in huge deserts, rainforests, but sometimes they're just in patches of woodlands. That being said, until next time.